The Norfolk Broads is one of the UK's most treasured natural environments and a designated national park. As well as being Britain's largest nationally protected wetland, the area is important for local tourism and agriculture. This delicate balance is constantly at risk of being destroyed by flooding, a threat further increased by climate change and rising sea levels. In 2001, the Environment Agency decided to explore a new approach to flood risk management in the Broads. A 20-year public-private partnership was created to provide a longer-term perspective, better planning and significant efficiency savings. Broadland Environmental Services Limited, or BESSEL, is a joint venture between Halcrow and Bam Nuttall set up to deliver the contract. Ten years on, and the project team, client and stakeholders are celebrating the results brought about by this innovative approach. In the Broads here, managing flood risk has always been challenging. We've got long lengths of embankment sitting on very poor ground conditions in an area with the status of a national park. Um, what we need to do, because we get very limited resources in terms of flood risk management, is to maximise the return that we get for whatever investment we put in. And the type of things that the partnership with the private sector has brought to this project in terms of um, long-term planning, efficiency savings, value engineering and a degree of innovation, you know, I think has been a really successful outcome from the Environment Agency's perspective. The advantage of a 20-year plan is that it is, is far enough ahead to actually uh, project and plan to achieve best value. So certainly for the Broads, I think we've, we've taken encouragement from Vessel's work and in their planning and we've started to look at 10, 15 years ahead rather than the short two or three years ahead. Normally in flood risk management, projects are heavy on capital but with low maintenance. But because we're there for 20 years, we're able to do things which are relatively low capital cost but have maintenance input that means the total whole life cost is less. This is a really significant advantage. The whole team is co-located in Norwich. That's the client, the contractor and our staff who work on the design and the preparations for, for the project as a whole. The big benefit that gives us is that they are committed and dedicated to that one project. Before this project we, we used to do similar work but on a, on a firefighting basis really. We used to wait for defences to reach the state where they were about to fail and then we'd go in and do a, almost an emergency project for a couple of hundred metres of piling here and there. Now because of the long term nature of this project we're able to plan in advance. We can consider solutions that take several seasons to build which we couldn't do before which means we get better solutions done at the right time in a far more sustainable way. And there's a long history of flooding in the region, but as a result of climate change, and of course we all know the uh, likelihood that sea levels will continue to rise, uh, the problem of flooding is getting gradually worse and worse. And I think we're incredibly lucky here in the Broads that some years ago the Environment Agency had the wisdom to award the contract to Bessel to carry out a major 120 million pound flood defence scheme. If this flood bank wasn't here, then all the land you can see into the distance to high ground would be flooded. That would have a major impact on the agriculture and also recreation within the area. Without the flood bank, you basically don't have the broads. Without the broads, you don't have the tourism, and without the tourism, obviously Norfolk's economy would suffer. As we travel up the river here, you can see um, the full impact of the project. You have the old steel sheet piling on your left hand side, uh, still in place with the flood bank sat on top of it. And on the right hand side, you have our new flood bank which has been set back and you now have a reeded edge to the river rather than the sheet piling. And the reed extends for some 20 metres before you get to the flood bank and that is now the erosion protection for this section of river. I think we can bring an extraordinary amount of added value to our client um, who, under this arrangement, because this is a service type agreement in the long term, um, can stand back to a great extent on what we have been given to do and allow us the freedom to bring all of our experiences between ourselves and Halcrow to bear on some very important decisions that have to be made about the long term. And it also allows us to 
bring on junior staff through that arrangement very well. Protecting the area's wildlife during construction is an essential requirement. The team has developed a range of approaches to lessen the project's environmental impact. This is the end of uh, one of our other banks that was constructed uh, a year in advance of the flood defence works starting. It's now two years on, so it's vegetated over quite nicely. And what the end shows, where we've got these old uh, piles of reed is, what the middle of the bank is filled with. It's a combination of uh, rushes, old brash, that creates lots of spaces that the adders and the lizards can crawl in amongst. And since we constructed it, we've put over 100 animals on here, and we've been doing surveys this spring uh, to demonstrate that most of those animals successfully hibernated here over the winter. Uh, they're now coming out of hibernation and starting to move out into the wider marsh environment uh, to breed. One of the big improvements that we've seen is better public access where the, the bank improvements have taken place. This, this path that I'm standing on is a, is a new access. It provides easy walks for local people and visitors and spectacular views over some of these beautiful wetlands. So it's benefited both wildlife and people. It's very important to the, for the agency that, 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 that the thing did work. And I, you know, I have to say that our view is that it has. Uh, we're on, we're on programme, we're on budget, and we're very happy with the quality of work that we're getting and all the sort of enhancement projects that are, that are spinning off from the, from the project and, and producing a, really a, a very uh, wide enhancement for the whole project area.